There are always a few myths about retirement planning. Well, there are people who believe that your current mandatory pension fund is sufficient for your retirement, uh, namely the EPR, right? Um, is it enough? Let me give you some statistics. Yeah? Out of 50% of the retiree, they realize they finish the, their funds in five years' time. And there is about 68% of the retiree when they retire, they realize their EPF, they only have 50,000. Well, there are also about 65% of them still having debts, still maybe housing loan, uh, children's education loans, and there are still about 63% of them are still funding for their children's education. And there are also people who say, oh, when I retire, well, I can continue to work. Well, if, if, if we travel enough, we go to Singapore, we go to Hong Kong, we do see a lot of old folks. Well, you realize they are still working. When you go to the fast food chain, you go to the restaurant, you still see a lot of old folks working there. Is it by choice? Uh, no, I, I think a lot of them, they have no choice. When you retire, you want to have that option, that choice. When you want to do something, it is out of passion, not because you are forced into. What are the benefits of PRS? In order to encourage us to save and start saving for our retirement, government is giving us this 3,000 tax relief. So other than that, if you are between the age of 20 to 30, the government is telling you to start now, start early. And therefore, if you are able to save 1,000, minimum 1,000 for your PRS, the government will give you free another 1,000 credited into your PRS account.